This is quite possibly the cutest little Raspberry Pi case I have seen yet. I was looking for a simple little case to protect my Raspberry Pi. Specifically, this is an old version 1 Model B+. Plus. But the same cases are compatible up to like a, a 3. So if I could find a case that was listed to be compatible with a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, that would work with this one. I just want to be using it as a print server, so it's not going to be doing anything intensive. So I found the cutest Raspberry Pi case that I've ever seen. It's a miniature original Nintendo Entertainment System. Check this out. I already ripped the box trying to open it earlier. It's very tight in this box. Look at this. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's a tiny NES. And the flap e even opens up here. And I wonder if you need to blow into these uh, ports to make the Raspberry Pi work properly. Unfortunately, the buttons don't do anything on this version. There's another version that's larger where the buttons actually work and function. But that other version has like a separate board on the back. And it's uh, quite a bit bigger too. And I didn't really need that for a print server in this case. I just wanted something very simple. So we have access to, to the audio port, HDMI, and USB on the side for power. And then on the back is access to the micro SD. And then I think it comes with a fan here too. So let's check it out, open it up and see. So to open it, there's no screws. It just says, hold the bottom case and pull the top case out. But I wish I knew like where the snaps were. Maybe I need to look inside here to find out where the snaps are exactly to be able to pry it open correctly. No, oh, there you go. I can see a snap in there. So the bottom case should snap out. It's easier said than done. It's actually pretty difficult to take apart. You really just have to get in here and kind of pry this open. And uh, uh, this is not easy. There we go. If you could see the, where the snaps are, here there's a snap here, there's a snap on the back here, another one here and here. And the problem is you really can't pry that snap away because from the outside you can't pry anything in there because there's also pieces here on the top of the housing that are preventing the snap from being pried away. So that those are holding it, those are constraining that snap. So you just have to kind of pull it apart as best as you can like I did just now. Uh, otherwise, if you try to use a screwdriver or something, you're going to damage it. So inside the case, there's actually a little fan that comes with it to keep it cool. I don't know if I'll need that for the print server, but that's a nice addition there. Um, there's some foam pads. EVA sticker. So you put the EVA sticker on the top of the fan, and it presumably keeps the fan in place and keeps it from vibrating. There's a little Phillips screwdriver with some screws. This is to hold down the Raspberry Pi board. And it actually comes with some heat sinks. That's cool. So there are two actual aluminum heat sinks, and then there's this copper puck, which can act as a heat conductor. And I'm assuming that this copper puck is meant to go on top of this large chip, and then the heat sink to go on top of that. Um, it's kind of weird. It doesn't say in the instructions exactly. It just says paste heat sinks and install the Raspberry Pi with screws. So I don't know that this is necessary, but you know, since we got it, why not? I hope it, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Since I put my greasy fingers all over the top surface of this, I'm gonna use some alcohol and clean it off before I apply the other heat sink. Okay, so once you have the heat sinks on there, then you can screw the board down. There's these screw bosses here. There's a lot of empty space underneath. OK, 
came with these four little screws. Looks like actually five, it included five in case you lose one. It came with this fan and it says to place the fan into the slot like this here. So the fan is blowing across the Raspberry Pi, which is great and all, but really when you look at this case, it's there's not like a kind of an exit and entry for the airflow. So it's just going to be kind of, looks like it's going to be kind of like recirculating air from inside the case. There's some slots over here and there's some slots in the top here, but there's no real exit for the air. So it's not really an ideal position for the fan. The fan should really be like up against the side. So I was talking about the airflow earlier and I did miss that there is an exit over here for the airflow. So the air, since the fan is on this side, the air could exchange out of here and um, and have some air exchange. And there's also some little bit of ventilation slots up here. So maybe the ventilation is not that terrible. Um, a little bit of ducting would help, like to actually put some ducting around the fan such that the air only comes in from this vent and then it only exits from here and it's not like recirculating in there. So that can be an improvement to make to the fan and the cooling. So if you want to hook up this fan, it shows on the connector that two from the right side is plus five and then three from the right side is ground. And put two from the right side is red and then the third one is going to be ground, like that. And you probably want the fan to be blowing over the circuit board. So this side of the fan is going to be facing the circuit board. And you can see the concave side of the fins is the side that's doing the pushing of the air. So the convex side is going to be the intake side. Just like this. Now it says to take one of these foam stickers that it comes with, EVA foam, and put it on top of the fan. And this is what's gonna touch off against the case housing. And now that we're all done, we can snap the case back together. There we go, I don't hear anything rattling. I think the fan is secure. I don't hear it moving around. And this is pretty cool. So we have the USB ports and the ethernet port in the front and it actually closes down over them to hide them. And on the side we have the headphone jack, HDMI, USB for power. And here we have access to the micro SD Yeah, that's accessible. I was worried it would be difficult to access it, but you can take that in and out pretty easily. Overall, it's a nice little case, aesthetically. I really like it. It's cool. It's going to be perfect for my use as a print server. And I'm going to report back later to let you know how it works. I've hooked up the Raspberry Pi to power, so I can show you how it works, and also how quiet the fan is. So one thing I noticed is, even though it's got these holes in the front here, there's no power indication. You can't see the power lights on the board or the status lights. You don't see anything. So the only way you can see those is through like the crack up here. You can see in the back there, right there, you can see some of the status and power lights. Um, but that would be nice to be able to see that if they at least had like maybe a hole up here. As far as a fan goes, it's extremely quiet. I do not hear it over the ambient noise in the room. And in fact, the only way I can hear it is I have to put it up directly to my ear to hear it. So it's a very quiet fan. It um, doesn't, doesn't turn that fast to make noise. I'm now pointing the microphone at the Raspberry Pi enclosure. I'm gonna put it up to the microphone to see if you can hear it.
as I said, it's extremely quiet. I can, however, sense the airflow. Like with my right hand on the right side, I can sense the airflow going in. I feel a little bit of a breeze going in. And on the left side, I can actually feel a little bit of a breeze going out. So there's actually some air exchange going on in there, which I'm surprised that it's that good. I even felt some air coming out of this crack up here. So if you leave this open because you have stuff connected into it, there's going to be some airflow coming out of here. So I'm surprised that it works so well considering there's no like ducting around the fan itself to really allow it to draw air in. So if you put a little bit of foam to make a duct around there or 3D printed something, that would definitely improve the airflow even more to keep it cool. I hope you enjoyed this video, this little NES Raspberry Pi case, and I hope you get your own and make some cool stuff with it.